The Country on 9.7 and 101.1. Today's New Country. I am Lacey Ray. And on this Wednesday of October, it's time for us to think pink with Fred F. Collison Sons. And it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that means it's one of my favorite times. And we are having different breast cancer survivors come in and tell their story. And I'm so excited to introduce you all to Terry. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I am so good. I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to have you share your story. So where exactly does your journey with breast cancer start? So my journey started on October 8th, 2014, which Mm -hmm. I consider October the worst month to be diagnosed (laughs) with breast cancer because you really don't want to see anything pink and everything pink is being thrown in your face the whole time. Yeah. So I had double mastectomy uh, Mm -hmm. in December. And then pretty much the whole year of 2015 till about August, I did uh, chemo and radiation. Yeah. So the difference for me with the chemo was Mm -hmm. that I used the cold caps. Oh, yeah. So the experimental um, thing that you put on your head so you don't lose your hair. hair. Yeah. Um, Minus 29 degrees Mm -hmm. for the whole day or the whole time you're doing chemo. So, yes, it hurt. It was not. It a was, fun experience right. and it was difficult for the first couple hours to go through that and I cried and mm-hmm. I knew I was doing it to myself but I was determined to you know keep my hair keep for hair. my mental health mm-hmm. um it people called me vain just go bald what's wrong with you but you know for my kids for my family for myself I wanted to look myself right going through this um and it worked I kept my hair for, for the most part it thinned mm-hmm. a little bit um but it it's a great resource that other women can use if they if they choose to right um it's not an easy thing to use but i did use it and Mm -hmm. then i went through radiation and you know it was a little bit of a spasmatic about that too (laughs) yeah i uh used a lot of aloe vera and a lot of vitamin e oil and Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of shea butter to uh make sure i didn't burn so i and i didn't i came out of radiation pretty pretty well yeah um now i'm just Trying to move forward. Yeah, right. And just continue on. eight years, eight year survivor, so. Yeah. And I think what's important to know is that you're like, it's what I wanted to do. It's how I wanted to do it. Right. And I think that everybody's, again, everybody's journey is different. Very different. And and nothing is wrong. Right. Uh, You have to do what makes you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, Whether you want to share your journey or not. Um, Some people are very private about it. Some people need all the support in the world. Um, No way that you're doing it is wrong because you've never been on this journey before Um, some people unfortunately have Mm -hmm. it comes back but um nothing is wrong everything is is to make you happy and you comfortable and you have to do for you at this point and did you say whether or not it was ran in your family it did not it did not no and so for i feel like when you get the diagnosis and all of a sudden you just have to to go forward you do um and it you moves have, quickly. It, you have no choice but to be strong. You have to. Mm-hmm. Um, to get through it, you have to be a strong person, and you have no other choice. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I talk about, yes, I'm cancer-free, mm-hmm. uh, but it's mentally is as big a disease for your mental health as it is for your physical health because yeah. it never goes away. You're constantly wondering, is it going to come back? And, mm-hmm. you know, what's my little ache and pain now? And, you know, there's good days when I feel sorry for myself too and there's days when I'm like I just kicked butt you know yeah, so right. um it's a journey you're on unfortunately forever mm-hmm. but um you can you meet some great people obviously yeah. I, I met you so <laughs> oh, stop. but I think I think what's important too is um it's not a club you want to be a part of it is not but, but it, once you are once you are you make the best of it you have to think positively and believe me there were many days when i couldn't put my big girl pants on Mm -hmm. and i did not enjoy pink at all for a very long time (laughs) right um but i i embrace it now a little bit better than i used to i think Um, that's fair yep and i participate in the relay for life and that first year was very hard because honestly i didn't want to be there i didn't Mm want to be that person that was a cancer person Mm -hmm. you know but I was a survivor speaker this year at the Central yes. New York Relay for Life, um, and I was honored to, to talk about that. And one of my favorite quotes uh, is from Bindi Irwin, and she says, it's um, it's not naive to want to wanna have joy, mm. but it's courageous, you know, to think that there's still hope even when things get hard. Yeah. So, and that's huge. A hundred. Huge. It's, that is. And um, I think, yeah, you didn't like pink. You, when you were going no. through it, it's totally normal right. to feel that way. Yep. And I think that um, it's good for them, other people to hear that 
you don't have to be strong all of the time. No, no, you, you, you can't be. You're human, right? But you still got to put your big girl pants on and kick its butt. That's right. And um, what would be your one piece of advice? My one piece of advice is stay strong. There's always hope. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. I love it. It is. We're thinking pink all month long. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is going down on Sunday, October 22nd at MBCC at 10 a.m. And that is pink encouraged. So make sure you're (laughs) rocking it. And Terry, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. I appreciate it. I am so thankful. And if you want to get more details about Think Pink or listen back to interviews, you can right now over on our website. It's Think Pink with Fred F. Collison Sons and Bug Country.